Hello, TFO world, and welcome to this week's edition of Musician of the Week interviews. With me today is Mr. Nate Blyton. How are you, Nate? Oh, I'm doing as, as best I can. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's what we love to hear. Um, Nate is a very longtime member of TFO, and not only is he a member of our viola section, but is also um, our recording engineer extraordinaire, the man who makes all of your beautiful CDs and recordings that you love and cherish year after year from the TFO and all, and the live streaming and all this stuff. So Nate is very busy at TFO, a very important cog in the TFO machine. Um, so having said that, how long, Nate, have you played in TFO? I've been there all the years. So how, I, yeah, I um. So how long has it been? I guess <laughs> is, this will is this be the tenth year. Yeah, so this many. This many years. <laughs> That's so great. Nate has been there all the years. Amazing, because I think we would we talked about it. I think at MSU. Do you remember so, any of that? I, I well, for better or worse, I I've been. Uh, for most, all of my professional and academic and musician life, been keeping myself busy than I should, be, or more busy than I should be. And I think back then, um, I don't even remember a whole lot of grad school. <laughs> Just like all this stress response and has yeah has wiped a little bit of that. I do remember us doing different projects. Um, yeah. I I don't think I was a part of the the dinner table conversation where the idea was right. sprung yeah born um, at dan yeah. and steve's house <laughs> yeah exactly so I, I was pretty pumped to get to be involved from the beginning um yeah yeah and i think i started out just doing viola and i brought mm -hmm. an audio recorder one of the times or something and right then yeah continued to blossom from there exactly for my involvement anyway well and one of my favorite memories from the first year of tfo is triola <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So great. I, um, yeah. So for everyone out there in TFO land, during the first year of TFO, Nate wrote a piece for three violas that we belovingly nicknamed Triola. Yeah. <laughs> it was played like three times that summer, right? <laughs> yeah. And then we, we brought it back another year or two mm -hmm. in a little bit of different configuration. But yeah, that was. um. I had started my job here. I'm talking to you from my office here at Grand Valley State University, my messy filing cabinets and all this stuff. And this, I also just, <laughs> to be honest, this is like the clean view that I'm giving you. <laughs> <laughs> if I turned this way, you'd see a little bit more of a horrendous scene over there. Chaos here. Chaos yeah, there's there. cables all over the floor. <laughs> Yeah, broken things on the other side there. And, is is um, a recording engineer's office complete without broken stuff? Yeah, well, right, because I uh, I do my best to fix a lot of the things that we yeah. have to, and so it, yeah, it's a it's a bit of a graveyard in prog in progress. I love it. Um, but so in any case, I had just started this job, I think that first year, and so, um, and I was only. 25 then I think and so I was pretty close in age to a lot of the students here and so I brought mm -hmm. yeah got to bring a kind of West Michigan crew of string players yeah um yeah and so Triola was me and Amanda and Kyla yeah at that time and it, um yeah that was a good time it was a good time were you guys the only violas that year <laughs> I I don't remember <laughs> I I know it's possible that it was just us three. I think that I, I was going through some old hard drives, uh, mm -hmm. trying to find some other stuff from high school and college, mm -hmm. and um, and I saw I found some video clips from early rehearsals. So I'm going to try to, yeah, forward those along. Oh I think my god! It, it yes. Shot with a flip video camera that I probably still had from grad school or something. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that. Oh, I love that. It'll that come out of the vault soon, hopefully. But I think that's the video evidence of how many we had in that viola section at that point. Yeah, definitely double digits in the orchestra, but not not tons more than that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, I think in most there maybe there was one other person, but 
I don't think so. I think it was just the three of y'all. And yeah. Anyway, so you, you kind of shown us around your office a little bit, minus the chaos. <laughs> it's the clean view of your office. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about where you're living and working when you're not at TFO? So um, I'm up in Michigan. I grew up in East Lansing, went to school at Michigan State for a long time, and then headed west uh, 70 or so miles and have been living in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I work at Grand Valley State University, which is another uh, 20 miles west of there. Um, and so I'm, I'm right in the heart of West Michigan, as they say, for, <laughs> for all of its qualities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Yep. That's great. So, yeah. And um, yeah, I will have been here for 10 years in January. We were talking about it before we started recording. And um, yeah, it's a remarkable community here. It's a great school. And um, yeah, I get to play a remarkably similar role here to what, <laughs> pardon me, <laughs> that light sensor. Yeah. <laughs> They gave me a huge office that used to be a shared kind of working space and stuff. And so the light has a sensor and it's, it's a little awkward in Zoom calls. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We'll just enjoy never you know, the suspense of not knowing yeah. <laughs> what's happening yep. with the light next. Um mm -hmm. well, yeah. very cool. So you've been in, in working in Grand Valley for as like as long as you've been playing at TFO. That's good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty direct correlation. I moved here, yeah, after we were in master's programs at Michigan State together. And yeah. That's great. Yeah. Um, so in all the years you've played at TFO, they're like, you must come back for a reason, right? Like you like <laughs> playing at TFO <laughs> in spite of all of the abuse endured by that pesky artistic executive director <laughs> i i was gonna say like i could embarrass you and be like no it's it's just you that's the only reason i come back <laughs> I no, that. Yeah, no it, i mean but i i do come back because i i think it's an amazing project you've got and um the community of people that have kind of been accumulated and <laughs> the kind of crazy octopus network of yeah. like um and i especially in this kind of isolating covid -y time uh i was finding myself this year a couple different times remarking at how spread out even my network is with my limited <laughs> level of involvement like right now i just I go to work and I go home and but I've got friends in Texas friends in New York friends yeah. all over in places I haven't even really been um it, but because of this TFO family like yeah got, yeah yeah some of my closest friends have been out of that yourself included yeah. so. <laughs> yes the TFO network is beautiful it, yeah <laughs> I love it like very consistent answer for everyone has been the people the people of TFO, yeah the best so, part and i do have an additional answer where like um i viola was has been my primary instrument for a long time it is not what my primary education was in though i went to school for music composition and practiced as much as i could and kind of did the best with the instruction and the knowledge that i had mm -hmm. um but I had and I had many opportunities to play in orchestras while I was in school. Since then, um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to take viola lessons with the professors here. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, which has uh, been amazing. And they've helped me tremendously <laughs> with uh, my technique and my changing body and everything and all yeah. and, um, such that I like playing viola a whole lot more now than I did while I was in school too. And, um, and I get to, but so then now my, one of my only opportunities to play any kind of classical music is down in Branson. <laughs> yes, at TFO. Well, yeah. that's so cool though, that you're getting like some good mentorship yeah. where you are and, 
I'm sticking with it. Yeah. I mean, in in some ways, I like, or I practice better now than mm-hmm. I did back then, but I practice far less, obviously. But but it's yeah. I I mean I mean, pardon me, an artistic director take over this floor because I've been practicing for all year for <laughs> Beethoven every day. No, starting today, right? Starting <laughs> for the rest of the year. Oh God, yeah. no, I was talking to a friend about that to like recently too that I practice so much more and better now than yeah. I did when I was in school um yeah. I think it's part of adulthood maybe yeah <laughs> life-changing learning some lessons and doing yeah. more with less time kind of things yeah mm-hmm. the, the the mid-30s values too maybe I don't oh, know yeah. it seems so much more important now that we're like 34 than it did when we were 24 right yeah yeah I'll, uh, I'll be 35 next week even holy <laughs> moly <laughs> yeah good times indeed <laughs> well happy early birthday nate <laughs> thanks yeah should be a good time so you're you know living and working in michigan the best time of the year is obviously tfo yeah um <laughs> obviously obviously but last year sucked <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Can you kind of give us an overview of like what happened to you and your work and everything (laughs) through the craziness of 2020? Yeah, I, yeah, I probably haven't even told you all this. The, um, the, so here at work, Mm -hmm. work, work, Grand Valley, uh, we had a complicated juggling act over the summer too of kind of trying to regroup figure out what we were going to do and so i I was doing pretty full days of work um here but last summer we couldn't meet in person because (laughs) like we i mean i couldn't even travel like i couldn't come to the building we were in, in michigan we were we had travel uh, order where we weren't there was a period of time where we weren't supposed to even like really go to the grocery store all that often like that was as much as we could do I think oh wow yeah it was um but then I <laughs> yeah so then we we did this crazy project of trying to put together as almost as much music as we were going to do anyway um but do it all remotely with us each right. recording our po- parts at home. So it for everyone who's listening, if you tuned into the virtual season of TFO last year, Nate is the guy who put all that stuff together. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, which and this is where I'm of two really different minds about that, because it's as an engineer and as a tinkerer and as somebody who loves learning more about technology, it was an amazing opportunity. I got to learn so much. I got to mix these, uh, like mix full orchestra recordings where I had each person and stuff. And um, yeah, and so then there was, I was faced with all of these like kind of artistic choices as a section yeah. violist. And I was like, <laughs> kind of like wow. Um, and we, and we we had our conversations about and stuff, but there was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a really wild experience in that way. And that part of it was a whole lot of work, but Im- immensely positive. Um, trying to record viola by myself at home <laughs> along to these tracks was awful. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> like you do it, and it's like, okay, music, and you look up and there's no one there with you. Yeah. And like, yep. So we're like so many things that we were taking for granted in a normal rehearsal th- situation were just like we had to do so many different kinds of communication that there and there just wasn't enough time to do that. And so we <laughs> like, yeah, um, yeah. And so it was it was immensely awful while also being this like <laughs> really neat opportunity. <laughs> and I, I, I imagine I'm probably maybe one of the only people who had any positive <laughs> experience with right. that. Um, but, and it was, 
yeah and it was neat to see it all come together in the end um we've been talking about that at work too of like mm -hmm. since that time i haven't seen many people do projects like that yeah like everybody kind of did it once was like oh and then... <laughs> more than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. And the payoff wasn't really kind of what we had in mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where, and that, because now I've also been running all of these other concerts here, um, where a lot of it's pre recorded, kind of mm -hmm. like what we did um, mm -hmm. over the summer, where the live things are fun. Right. Like we, there's a little bit more pressure, but it feels like it's it's something when it's right. when it's playing back pre-recorded videos and stuff um the like what's actually happening with people it it feels like i'm some research scientist going to an outpost and like logging into the computer yes check, checking the things pressing the button or like checking the feed of communication and like and like doo -doo 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 -doo. And then <laughs> two hours later it's done yeah, I didn't, I didn't speak at all. Didn't like see anybody. Right. <laughs> and it was a concert. It was a concert. And you kind of like <laughs> puppet master the whole thing. Yeah. And... It's just really strange. It's um, weird. Technically really interesting. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's just, yeah, a whole different I, thing. I like, yeah, I remember like you, I don't know, like Zoom calling me or something to do the introduction for one of the concerts. And I just like happened to be in the worst possible place. Is there like some terribly loud sound happening, like <laughs> running around my parents' yard, yeah. trying to find a good spot. It was so and, weird. <laughs> and I'm just in the second bedroom at my house, kind of laughing and being like, yeah, like <laughs> as, as this piece is almost done. And yeah, the, yeah, the, the distance between what happens behind the scenes and what people see is, is really stark yeah, whereas for no normal concerts it's it's kind of all it, or it makes a little more sense to me i don't know yeah it's, well because you're also like in a normal concert environment you're playing typically that, there's that too right yeah exactly yeah <laughs> like yeah. you kind of let the thing the machines do their work and then you go do your own yeah thing. and that's that's yeah that's a lot of fun um mm -hmm. that is yeah, it's a different kind of challenge of having to flip engineer brain off and try to make some music and stuff too. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, yeah. so I'm glad to know that, like at least <laughs> in spite of everything, you got to have like a really positive PFO experience, regardless. <laughs> yeah, or like half of me really did. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> half of you did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And it was, and while we couldn't see each other in person, it was great to, uh, it was really great to connect with people over Zoom. And, yeah. Um, yeah. That was, that was really good and really helpful for me in what was an otherwise really challenging time. Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it was, yeah. I'm glad we all got to like still have lunch together and yeah. Like that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So in in life outside of TFO, did you have any other interesting experiences you'd like to share about 2020? For the most part, uh, like here at work, it's been interesting because I'm the role that I play here at work is solving a lot of technical problems to try to let the art happen in whatever ways it can. Mm -hmm. And I do that for our music area and for our dance area and stuff too. Um, and so we, yeah, have had, had a lot of challenges and like my health was keeping up for a lot of it. It kind of crashed a couple of times and, um, it's been, it's been a journey and I've gotten, there's a, there's a rock Latin band I, I get to play in that, um, we've gotten to do a couple fun projects. Oh, cool. Um. I think last summer we even played a couple like distance outdoor gigs that nobody came nice. to because everybody because oh. <laughs> it was like because <laughs> uh, it was like in the heat of it. Um, oh yeah. And and we were we were staying technically safe, but like people weren't able to come <laughs> for the right. most part. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so those those live streams were kind of wild things. Um, 
yeah, I got to really get some practice at mixing some rock band stuff in, in similar ways. Um, yeah, I've, I've been digging into other technology stuff. I got into <laughs> building analog drum circuits last what? summer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, this has, the last couple of years have been a challenge for me musically. And so I've been enjoying digging into other uh, more technical things with software and electronics and yeah, learned a lot about video game design and I've been taking more classes. Have to, I've had to brush up on like algebra and stuff. It's kind of fun. <laughs> My trigonometry is a whole lot better than it was a couple of years ago. Nice. <laughs> There's a silver and lining to it all. Feeling completely ashamed to my 18 year old self who did all the calculus stuff back then. Yes. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And was uh, kind of continuing rehab from an old injury i've been getting doing more skating and stuff too oh good yes yeah, <laughs> yeah. and our, our friend rochelle was really encouraging last year last summer good. of getting me out and going skating going skating <laughs> yeah exactly we're gonna have to have a tfo skate squad yes <laughs> <laughs> if you're in tfo and you have skates you know what to do <laughs> yeah 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 i'm I'm pumped about that. I'm yes. pumped about so many things. I'm getting to getting to see everybody. Right. Um, yeah, getting to come be outside and yeah. Yeah, yeah. seeing all of our friends again. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> I have enough of an emotional response to playing music and stuff these days. That I I <laughs> do not know how it's going to go for me <laughs> when we come back. <laughs> Well, it's, so that kind of brings me to um, another question, yeah. which is, uh, you know, what do you, what do you think, it, what would it mean to you to play in TFO in person this summer? Um, well, it, it's, well, so fundamentally it's been an isolating time for me um, where I've got a really, really supportive work situation where, um, and everybody here cares about each other so much. And it also means that we're all very careful. And um, a lot of the decisions are taken out of my hands about taking risks and stuff. And so I've been home or I've been <laughs> doing really limited other interaction things. And I haven't done a good job of keeping up with people uh, through computers and haven't been connecting with people in other ways either. And so I've just been at work. And um, so the, um, I'm really looking forward and I'm kind of trying to emotionally prepare myself for the two things of just being around people right. and being around friends and being getting to really engage in that way for <laughs> longer, longer periods of time. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And in different formats and stuff. So there's that. And then, yeah, just getting to play some music because I've, I've been able to do little bits, but I've had an increased <laughs> workload. And so I haven't like even the the rock band I play in, we've mm -hmm. I've missed almost all of our rehearsals in this time and stuff. And uh yeah. I um but yeah, the, I'm really looking forward to the music making, really looking forward to yeah, connecting with people. <laughs> yeah. It'll it'll be really exciting to for everyone to be together again this year. Yeah. Um and before we were talking, Nate and I were saying, like, are we all going to be an emotional mess in the first rehearsal? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Tissue I am. Um, stand by. We are accepting tissue donations. Yeah, year. exactly. Right? <laughs> it's like, I, I'm going to have a pocket full of tissues and a pocket full of hand sanitizer. Those will be yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be great. Yeah, just wipe, wipe, spray, spray. <laughs> 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 It'll be so good. 
Oh man. Well, it's so nice to talk to you, Nate. Thanks for yeah. joining me for this little interview. Um, for all of you out there who are listening, keep checking back um, on this page for more TFO musician features and interviews. Um, and otherwise, we'll see you next time. All right, we did it. Good job. Thanks. <laughs>